Today, I will be showing you how to make Shale Gorath Strawberry Tarts from the official Elder Scrolls cookbook, a delicious treat for mad gods and mortals alike. To start off, we need to make the sweet crostata dough. First, combine all-purpose flour, rye flour, or wheat flour if not available, salt, and brown sugar in a medium bowl. Blend everything to make a better consistency. Next, we need to add in the butter, breaking it into little pieces to make combining easier. Now we want to mix everything together until we have a fine consistency. Now we will begin to knead the mixture into a dough. Adding water can help the dough combine better at this stage. Once done, we want to knead the dough until we have a nice ball. Wrap it up and allow it to chill for one hour. Now we will take out the dough and roll it out until it is nice and thin. We want an even layer of dough. Using a sprinkling of flour can help keep it from sticking to everything. We want this dough to be shaped in a circle to make it easier to place in the tin. Once we have rolled the dough flat, we will now drape it over a tart tin to make the base of the tart. We will then bake the dough until golden brown. While the dough is baking, we are going to chop up the strawberries. We will be removing the tops of the strawberries since they are not necessary. We will then begin slicing them thinly. Once done, we will place the slices in a small bowl with some sugar and allow to rest. Around the same time that the dough is done baking, the strawberries will be ready. We will then drain the bowl to separate the natural juices from the strawberries as part of our glaze. We will then combine the natural juices with port wine or cranberry juice if you prefer an alcohol-free alternative in a saucepan and allow to reduce. Now we are going to make the next layer of the tart. We will mix together mascarpone, powdered sugar, and heavy cream in a medium bowl until combined. This will create the layer of the tart that the strawberries will rest on. Once the dough and glaze have cooled, we will combine everything to finish the tart. We will start by spreading the mascarpone mix over the bottom of the dough.
Once evenly spread, we will add the strawberries. Make sure to layer them evenly across the top of the mascarpone. Now to finish it off, we will take the glaze and drizzle over the top of the tart. Spread a nice even but thin layer so we don't get any pooling juices. This turned out to be a rather basic but still delicious treat. The dough retained just enough sponginess not to be too hard or too flaky. The mascarpone layer is very rich but not too overpowering to take away from the rest of the tart. The strawberries and glaze finish it off with a slightly tart sweetness that helped bring it all together as a juicy dessert. <laughs>